Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thanks so much for joining us. Tens of millions of more Americans are getting closer to getting access to coronavirus vaccinations, either as first-time shots or as boosters. The Food and Drug Administration approved Pfizer's reduced-dose shot for children between the ages of 5 and 11 Friday night. The agency says the benefits of the vaccine outweigh the risks. The CDC will weigh in next. Meanwhile, nearly 100 million Americans who received Moderna or Johnson & Johnson shots for their first time are now eligible for boosters, and people are already lining up. CBS News' Elise Preston reports. In Richmond, Virginia, Robert Gray was more than ready for his Moderna booster. I woke up to the news this morning and it was approved and got right online, made my appointment, came right down. And while the pandemic is still taking toll with 75,000 new cases and 1,500 deaths each day, Colorado's governor emphasized many are at greater risk. Teachers, uh, first responders, work in a retail store, work in an office environment where your cubicles near other people and you're going in. Uh, I, you, want, you want the safety that this, this third dose can provide. Individuals can now decide to mix vaccines to increase protection. A small National Institute of Health study awaiting peer review found three doses of Moderna offered the highest level of protection, followed by two shots of Pfizer, then Moderna. Anyone who received the Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine would be more protected if they got either the Pfizer or Moderna shot as a booster. To better protect adults who took the Johnson & Johnson shot, health officials have minimized the requirements for them. For those who got J&J, &J, everybody is eligible if you got your dose more than two months ago. So anybody who got J&J, &J, if their dose is more than two months ago, then they are eligible for a boost. Federal regulators indicated the benefits to the nation's 25 million children from 5 to 11 years receiving a reduced dose of the Pfizer vaccine are far greater than the risks. And the White House says it's getting ready. What we're really focusing on is working with pediatricians. We know that the pediatricians are uh, one of the most trusted sources of information for any parent. For more on this, I want to bring in Dr. Robert Frank. He is the director of vaccine research at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Dr. Frank, thanks for being here. So explain for us the science behind the reduced dose Pfizer shot for kids. Well, what we did is we looked at the immune response in the children and we found that the 10 micrograms, so one third of the dose that we needed